Shark Eye Wheel Liners, what are they, what are they about, and I'm looking at a four-wheel laser liner for my garage. They're the questions I'm sure you're asking right now. I can probably answer them for you. Our four-wheel laser liners, these three here, and basically all the business end are the same. As I've said in another video that you'll probably come across if you're, if you're serious about buying, the business end of all our four-wheel laser liners are the same. They've just got different frocks and ways of moving them and hanging them on the wall. What do they do? They do wheel alignment and they do it very, very well. We'll use this one, which is the standard. So, off the cabinet, beautifully made, beautifully weighted, hand welded joints. I'm sure if, if this is not your first Shark Eye video that you've watched, then you'll know that the handmade in Sheffield, England. How do I use it? Well, first you set it up. So if you've noticed this head, this toe scale to the front, we lower the back plate, we call this a back plate, basically we let, this is the hanger. So we lower the back plate down, so these two rim buttons here, that are for toe, are in the bottom third of the wheel. This top one here is for camber. Once we've got that on the wheel, and they're all nicely touching, they're all sat right, they've got a nice connection with the rim, we straighten the heads up, this spirit level here. So you need that straight. So that's the first one set up. I'll turn it on. Second head. Same again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mirror the gauge on the other side, on the left-hand side of the car. Rim button down, top one for camber. I keep repeating this so, so you get it. If you're new to wheel alignment, then it, it can seem a bit, it can seem a bit daunting to start with. It's not, it really is quite simple. So, on, make sure we've got a nice connection. Make sure the spirit level is straight so it mirrors the other gauge. Turn that on. With four wheel alignment, <laughs> You need rear flags. So we're going to put the rear flags on as well. So we move them out, move that out, move that out, so it sits on the rim. I'm going to give this to my glamorous assistant, Evan, to put on that side, otherwise we'll be here all day. Same again. Move it that way. And we put onto the rear wheels. Same again, these have got rim buttons on them. Roughly halfway on the wheel, make sure it's straight, you can see. Then we just sit there. What we're after is the rear laser. The rear laser reflecting onto this one. I'm gonna stop you now, just to keep rolling the camera, Dave, because we've updated these since this. We've actually put, <laughs> we've actually put a, spirit levels on the rear ones. So these actually have a spirit level on as well now. Right, that's on. We know that's straight. Um, what we're after is the laser to reflect on that. And this is what the essence of um, four-wheel laser alignment is. You're making sure the car's square, you know, the rear wheels are following the front. And that's what you do. You set the front to zero and you keep the rears equal. So five, five, six, six, doesn't matter what number, the rear number is arbitrary, but they have to be matching. So if you've got six on the right-hand side, you need six on the left-hand side. Seven on the right-hand side, you need seven on the left-hand side. So, and that's what you do with it. So this is basically how they work. Look at our other videos for a more comprehensive way of doing wheel alignment. We've got lots of technical videos and there's more and more coming all the time where we'll show you how to do wheel alignment. Problems that you face as a customer, like someone coming back, well, my car's pulling, 
May engine sees you did the tyre pressures last, you know, that type of thing. So we'll go through that with you. But this is basically how they work. They're set up like this, so we're after zero across the front and equal on the rear. So that is how laser gauges work.